Hey guys, it's Doug with Softly. Today we're gonna to talk about strict press and why what you're doing in the gym isn't working for you. The real purpose behind the strict presses that we program in our programming is to build a total body stability to prevent injury. We have a huge rate of shoulder injuries in practical jobs like being a soldier, firefighter, police officer, and you find that guys train shoulders, but they don't train like an overhead press. So even though they under train the, the actual useful movement, when it's demanded of them in the real world, their bodies, the bracing required isn't there. So they end up getting injured. And it's not just, it's not just a shoulder injury, uh, like a labrum or something in, in the shoulder itself, but you can find, you know, they pull their upper back or their lower back because of poor bracing and trying to adjust. Uh, we are trying to develop body awareness when we program strict presses. So even though it feels like a very simple one plane of movement, it's actually more than just a shoulder movement. It's to engage your glutes, your core, and your upper middle back to create tension and, and scapular rotation there to build stability. The transferability of the strict press is key as well because the neutral bracing required there is something that we're gonna use across the board in a lot of practical applications in the real world. Now, the way we do it, if we're thinking appropriately, if you guys have watched our previous videos uh, on how to do a strict press or accessory movements to build a better strict press, we'll talk about what goes behind those right now. So like the, the idea of how to correctly strict press starts at the ground and moves to overhead. So if you look, we have like the base, the feet with the three points of contact, moving up to activated glutes for your hips, and then the trunk is a braced core, and then we have upper back tension where the scapula rotating in and creating that upper tension to stabilize the weight overhead. So when we program accessory movements to build a better strict press, we're trying to focus on three specific body positions to eliminate areas that are problematic or require more effort. When we program a half kneeling press, the real benefit of that is to develop a stable base to show an athlete who might not have good stability what it feels like to actually stabilize their three points of contact with their toes, the ball of their foot, and the heel of their foot. It also allows a chance for the athlete to use a unilateral pushing movement. So it's gonna be like the opposite hand will be pushing while the opposite leg is bracing in the half kneeling position. And it's gonna allow someone to feel what this neutral inline position is from their shoulder down straight to their knee. Um, so this will also help develop better strength in an overhead press motion when you have mobility issues. So if, if an athlete can't get into a front rack well, a lot of people are gonna ask like, well, how do you do that? You can't get in it. If you look at me specifically, I have really, really tight lats, and when you see me in a press movement, you're gonna see that there's a misalignment between my elbows because I have asymmetry in how my muscles are outlined. Move into a tall kneeling position, and we're gonna take away the stabilization that you get when you're, when you're half kneeling or standing. It's gonna be a lift that starts at your knees now. You don't have to worry about your feet. Uh, instead, you're gonna isolate the hips, trunk, and upper middle back and it's going to actually train the scapular rotation where you're scapulating to rotate up and along your rib cage. Uh, people don't do that very well, and a lot of the time that's what causes strain injuries when you're doing overhead press is an inefficient scapular rotation. So the tall kneeling position is gonna really work on that and let you know how that should feel. And then we'll program uh, movements using a seated elevated position, which is gonna be kind of like your strict military press that you might be familiar with if you're into bodybuilding. Uh, that's gonna get rid of your, your lower body entirely. Uh, we're gonna actually highlight a lot of your mobility issues. So like the, the whole front rack issue, when you sit down and you can't compensate with your, your entire body chain. So like, you know, your hips can't adjust, your knees can't adjust to make you feel like you're doing an even push anymore. Now you're just, you're seated right on, I mean, your hips are immobilized and you're just pushing. So it's a, it's a good diagnostic tool for coaching to see where mobility issues are. And it's also going to work on upper back tension because it's the only thing you have to stabilize. So 
you'll find that when you're doing a seated press of any variety, uh, it's very important that you get you know very very tight upper middle back where you're like you'll just feel it much more dramatically than another in another uh, position where stability has been accomplished through kind of downstream stabilization. All of these things are going to really help develop a more well-rounded athlete. Basically, the goal for us is to bulletproof you against you know, functional movements that you're gonna experience day to day in your, in your regular life. If you guys want more information on shoulder injuries and how they come about and how to prevent them, then click the link below. Uh, it's a great article by Rita Chorba. She's one of our close friends. She's a physical therapist over at MARSOC. Tons of information in the link below. You should click it.